And on the other side, boy, the Diamondbacks have exactly <laughs> the guy they want to try to close it out. Their staff ace, Zach Gallen. Now that's a bad matchup for the Brewers. Zach Gallen, how would you like to face him with your season on the line? And especially for Milwaukee, which has seen him twice this year, basically did nothing against him, Matt. Two starts he's had against Milwaukee this year. They're hitting a buck 33 against him. They scored one run in 14 innings. And the biggest matchup problem is a uh, match. He's a, a pitch maker. He's got a lot of different pitches, but the curveball against Milwaukee has really been his weapon. And that's been a bugaboo. When you look at the worst batting average on curveballs, the Brewers, other than Minnesota, the worst of the team still playing baseball right now. That's a pitch that has played up for Zach Gallon in his two starts against Milwaukee. Goes from 23% overall to 31%. Look at that batting average on his hook. 059. So let me show you how he is featured, and he's done it in different ways against Milwaukee with that curveball. Gallon's curveball is sometimes swing and miss pitch out of the zone. Sometimes it's good enough to get in the strike zone and still get swing and miss. And I think you're going to see that a lot today. Here's how he's using it against Milwaukee. Here's an at bat with Christian Yelich, where he's not going to show him the curveball throughout this at bat. Everything is down in the zone. Fastballs, change up right here. Double up on the changeup again. Hasn't seen the changeup yet, but now he's set up because now he can go lower than low. Working off that low plane gets the really emergency hack there for the swing and miss. Here's another way he uses the curveball. How about going back and forth, William Contreras right here. It's going to be fastball, curveball combo backed up twice. Curveball behind the fastball. Now he's going to show fastball again. He's trying to slow him up, speed him up, and here he is, curveball getting the fly out to right field the next pitch. One more time how he uses it. How about against Willie Adamas? We know he's a dead fastball hitter. That front side opens up really early, so he's vulnerable to spin. Curveball to start the at-bat. Get yourself a free strike. Hey, why not throw another one, right? He wasn't on that one. Pulls off on that. Hey, how about three for a quarter? You got it. You also got your punch out right there. So tonight, you're going to watch Gallon featuring that curveball. If you looked at game one, Matt, the Diamondbacks went right after Milwaukee. They threw almost 70% fastballs. It's going to be a different story today. Look for the curveball of Gallon to be the pitch. Diamondbacks in a position to try to upset the Brewers and close them out in two games.